Welcome to the Bourbon Guild Review Show. Today, up on the chopping block, I've never heard of this before. Have you guys heard of this? Woodford Reserve? Of course Woodford. you have. We're, we're reviewing an old faithful here, Woodford Reserve. I'm Dutch. Jules. Dylan. Ben Richards. The Butcher of Bakersfield. So Woodford, guys, um, I think everybody who likes bourbon should have tried Woodford by now, but if you haven't and you want to know what we think about it, then we're going to tell you about it. It's a, it's a straight bourbon. It's 90.4 proof. That's 45.2% alcohol. Um, you know, they've got batch number and bottle number printed on here. Is that, I mean, they produce so much of this. Yeah, I wonder if that I, even I means anything. It. But if you are keeping score at home, this is batch 1874, bottle number 4585. Um, and if you're keeping score at home, you probably need a new hobby. Yeah, I mean, you could actually print out your own labels. I don't know if you guys did that. I actually went to the website. Oh, really? Printed it out. I made my own label. It said, like, you know, wow. yeah, Dylan's uh, Woodford. All right. Yeah, well, yes. Dylan will give us a little bit. too much to do. Give us a little more background on it while I crack this open and pour us. Um, yeah. Can we get the MSRP real quick? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. MSRP is about, uh, actually, the official MSRP, I think, is 35 bucks. We picked this bottle up for twenty five. You can usually find it for anywhere between twenty five and thirty five dollars. You, you can get it at the big box stores, right? Big box stores, you can get it under twenty five sometimes. That's I a mean, pretty good discount, man. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, yeah. Real so, cork, by the way. Guys, oh, uh, if that matters to you. Sure. So, so I, you know, I don't know what to say about this. I mean, there's there's so much information. There's a lot of history. Chris Morris is, I think, is the master distiller still. Um, the site that they're distilling this, um, they've been doing it since the seventeen eighties. Uh, building was erected in 1838. Um, current oh. Woodford operates out of Versailles. Uh, Actually, Kentucky. hang on, hang on. Versailles. Okay. I'm serious. If you say Versailles there, they'll like, what are you talking about? It's Versailles. Okay. Okay. Yes. Um, you know, the okay. site of production has great history. Um, <laughs> apparently, the technique is the technique used by settlers in the 1770s. So that's kind of interesting. So and it's made from 72% corn. What's the proof? And it's a rest of a uh, combination of 18% rye and 10% malted oh. barley. So <laughs> I played along anyway. <laughs> they use uh, cypress wood fermentation vats. I don't know if that's... I can taste the Are they up in hill. hills? <laughs> uh, I, I actually went to this distillery. Really nice facility. Really nice gift shop. The I, corn is from is Shelby, mean, uh, Shelby County. Is that a biased, yeah. biased uh, I'm a little biased, maybe. But uh, I gotta say, guys, wow. you know, I am, I've always thought that this is just one of those classic bourbon bottles. Yeah. You know, there's yeah. not a lot going on. It just shows yeah. off the product. It's just got the name. Oh, it's a uh, wonderful color glory. So do you care yeah. about the, do you care about the controversy? Oh, what's the controversy? Let's hear that. I mean, you know, apparently it's, they kind of mix the, the batch with, mm. Column still bourbon, um, What's that? used in uh, old Forester bourbon. Oh, so, is that just because they're trying to increase their yield? You know, I think it. I, t to be honest, I think it's for flavor. I don't think they're doing it to kind of trick anyone or anything like that. But um, um, can you can you elaborate more on the controversy? Is, is it because it's the controversy? Yeah, the is it devaluing the pr this product or devaluing old Forester? No, because because they argue right yeah. that Woodford Reserve is aged for seven seven years, seven point three years. <laughs> you know, they take it out of a barrel and it's pot distilled. Okay, right. Yeah, but the thing is, you know, people buy it, I guess, because it's pot distilled. It's unique. Um, but then the fact that they mix it with a column distilled spirit, it kind of, you know, it, it's it, it's not pure. Mm -hmm. You know that that's the argument. It's like what, why are you mixing it with column distilled um, spirit from Old Forester? Why aren't you just kind of keeping it from the the pot distilled? Like keep it keep it pure. Okay. That said, do do these distilleries offer a dedicated pot distilled and column distilled separate product? Like distilled, pot distilled only and column distilled only. The reason I'm, I, I want to kind of delve down this path is what harm, what is the harm in making this specific whiskey, uh, bourbon, a blend of, of the two, if that's what this product is? I, I mean, like, I, I personally don't care, but I think, I'm th I think that they're doing it to, to get a particular flavor profile. Right. But for purists, you know, if, if they're advertising it as, oh, you know, we're unique because we're pot distilled, right? But they and don't kind they of don't like, you know, under their breath, they go, oh, you know, it's. They say it's just distillers to select. And on the back, they just say it's uh, 
Small batch. Mm. Yeah, well. Who knows? All right. So uh, anyway, Jules, anyway. give us a little more info about our scoring system. Yeah, or so give, our, give our viewers some info about our scoring systems as we get into our reviews here. Yeah, so if you're new to the uh, Bourbon Guild, we have a 10-point grading system. So we give up to two points for aroma, three points for complexity, uh, two points for drinkability, three points for uniqueness, and uh, one bonus point for value. So value can be because it's uh, available or easily available and um, also based off of price. So 10 points maximum score. You can have uh, fractions of a point uh, such as 1.5 for example. <laughs> Is that a fraction? I think so. All right guys, uh, <laughs> you guys finished? Everybody I'm ready? not sure about my math, but I am ready I'm to good go. to go. Ready to go, all right. Go. Ben, what did you, you give it? I gave it a seven. Wow. Seven. Seven here. Seven. Eight point five. And an eight for me. Wow. I, I was actually I just changed mine from a seven point five to an eight, so hmm, I was on the fence on a number of categories, but uh, not, well, I guess we're, we're right. Yeah, we're not out of the. Uh, we're all know. kind of clustered around. So yeah. let's start with aroma. I give no it a liars. one. You know, I got a distinct bourbony smell. Bourbony <laughs> smell. I mean, like it's hard to describe it other than a, like a, it, this smells like bourbon. But see, that's so. why I gave it a one point five because I think it's like you know it's <laughs> bourbon. Right, like you smell like, oh man, okay, like this is, and I, for me, I don't know, you know, it's like, it smells like really you. good. Bourbon. I'm going to give you a different number. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's how we roll around here. Dylan, what'd what you give it? Dylan? Mm. I gave it an 8, 1.5. Um, <laughs> 8, 1.5? <laughs> no, 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 1.5. I gave it a 1.5 right. because, so you, agree. Um, yeah. you know, I, I think you know what a Woodford smells like. I think it's it's pleasant. There's a lot of fragrance. There's a lot of... You know, I, I always get notes of, you know, the oak and a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of stone fruit, a little bit of stewed fruit, a little bit of cherry. Like stewed fruit, man. You know, I, I like it. I really like this. And so I, I always enjoy the aroma, you know? Ben. I gave it a one. I don't think, I'm with. Middle of the pack? Yeah, pretty much. I'm with a lot, all of you guys, it, um, you know, in some fashion or another. I think uh, it's not, there aren't distinctive notes, but. It's pleasant. It's very. It's a good it bourbon, like bourbon smell. It yeah. does smell. It smells like a plate. Yeah, I mean, you pick up like you pick up a little bit of caramel. Yeah, exactly. Really focus. I mean, but it, it's not. It's I not get distinctive and unique compared a to other surprising bourbons, amount of alcohol. Yeah, smell. I agree. Mm-hmm. But it's the middle of the road. It's it's perfectly serviceable. I like it. Totally, totally agree. So complexity, guys, and actually, you know, I, I've been si- sipping this here. <laughs> you don't want me to do that? Uh, I've been sipping it here, and I actually bumped mine from an 8 to a 7.5 in the process. Um, <laughs> complexity, I dropped mine down from a 2 to a 1.5. Mm-hmm. Uh, to me, it's middle-of-the-road complexity. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's a good that. balance. It's, it tastes like a bourbon. There's nothing to bump it up out of the middle mid-range for me. And as I was taking extra sips, I was like, you know what? I, I just have to bump that down just a tiny bit. So Interesting. 1.5 mm-hmm. complexity, uh, Jules. I may have to do the same, only because uh, originally I give it a 2.5. <laughs> Wow. But, but the reason is because like for me, like it's hitting all those different notes. Like I know there are different notes in there. Try it with a little. Yeah. For, little you know, for complexity and this and is ben, what I, I expect out of like a little. bourbon, you know, so. What are you going to, what are you going to give right uh, Happy Dylan. Man Winkle? <laughs> is that going to be like, is that going to be a 0.5? Happy Man Stinkle will be interesting. <laughs> Schmappy Man Tinkle might be like a two. But from him, maybe a 3.5. For complexity. 3.5. We know he will give a zero on value. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so complexity, uh, what did you give it, Dylan? Uh, I gave it a 1.5, I think. Uh, again, so what did I you not give a 1.5 for? Uh, <laughs> value. No, it's all 1.5. It's like, you know, for, for complexity, I think it's right down so the middle. It's right yeah, down It's good. Um, you know, if again, if I went to a bar and they said, oh, you know, there's... I like Woodford, there's Maker's Mark, there's blah, 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 the usual stuff. I'd pick Woodford. I love it. So, okay, something so, interesting hey, hey, that happened so, to me. So Jules and, and Ben have added water like I did. Yeah. I know that Dylan refuses to ever do that. But something that interesting that happened to me, like I think because I added the water, I mean, it tastes a lot better. But yeah, I mean, I think it definitely decreased the complexity. So I think I'll actually knock it down a notch. It's, it's 90 yeah. proof. I mean, it's... Yeah, pretty weak. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Ben, what did you what did you think about? I went one point five, same as you. I don't think it's overly complex. Yeah. I don't think that's bad, and that's why I wanted to get back to the controversy that Dutch was talking about. About I'm Dutch. Um, He's Dylan or Dylan. Sorry, thank you. I, it was one of you D's for dicks. Um, <laughs> I wanted to get back to the controversy of the the pot distilled versus the column distilled, and what they were trying to achieve, and what you know what the offerings are, because for what this is. 
It's not very complex, but it's decent. That's not bad. It's right. good. Totally. I like the flavor they achieved. Totally. I like the totally. smoothness. I, I, I don't think so that... So, speaking of smoothness, let's move, let's move on to drinkability. Okay. What did you give it? I, that I gave a complete two, which is two of two wow. in our scoring system. Perfect. Um, Same here, man. Because I think this is completely drinkable. And I, I agree with maybe who you didn't say it, but... If this were offered in a bar, I would go for it yeah, over a maker. So this is like I consider Woodford a very drinkable uh, a bourbon, and maybe it's a, a, one of the things I wanted to comment specifically when hearing your scores is how our scoring system is weighted is very uh, interesting because I my I came up with a seven, but that is no that is by no means a negative on the scoring. So, uh, no, I think it's score. a good number. Yeah, seven is a good is number. A it's a good solid bourbon. number. Yeah. No, uh, Dylan, so, what did yeah. you give it for your drinkability? 1.5. 1. 1.5? 1. 5. Um, I couldn't give it a 2 because I think there are... I mean, you know, cost aside, I think there are other ones that I feel like would deserve a 2. More I mean, drinkable still, than this? Mm. Yeah, I think so. Okay. That's rough. Yeah. There's, a, there's a little bit of a... A little, a little bit of burn, yeah, a little, little bit. bit of, yeah, yeah. Actually, because of that little bit of burn, I gave it the same score, 1.5. Well, so. I, I was with Ben. I gave it a 2. I mean, to me, it's... If, if I were to tell somebody who doesn't know anything about bourbon, to buy a bottle, I'd say, you know what? Buy a bottle of Woodford. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, to me, mm -hmm. this is bourbon. Quintessential. Yeah. Like, and, and for so. me, the drinkability is spot on. Like, it, to me, bourbon should have a little bit of that alcohol in it. Yeah. yeah I just agree. a little like bit. Just the amount that Woodford has. I mean, That's for the I think price, it's, so... it's amazing. Yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah this yeah. would be my go-to recommend. Yeah. Man, so. Okay, so uniqueness. Um, I actually bumped mine from a 1.5 to a 2, just mm -hmm. because of... I don't know. I mean, it's very a nebulous concept to begin with when we talk about uniqueness. But to it's me, subjective. factoring in the bottle actually pushed me up a little bit because I, I like the minimalist. I like the story about the way it's distilled, even though there's controversy. It doesn't matter. Like, to me, it was on the verge of 1.5 to 2, and the bottle and all that pushed it up to a 2 for me. Yeah. No, I mean, for me, yeah, same right here. 2 for uh, uniqueness. 2 out of 3. Really um, good I really love, and I totally agree with you, I love the minimalist design. I mean, it, it stands on its own. It's you know, it looks great. Yeah, but, it, but if I great. went like this, you know. What are you doing? I'm opening my <laughs> eyes. Um, you know, it, it, you know, it, it looks normal look to me. Like gentle, it's a gentleman's Jack, you know. Gentleman's Jack. Uh, gentleman's Jack. Well, <laughs> gentleman's Jack might be. <laughs> Basil's Hayden. Yeah. So, I mean, you'd think this is kind of a cliche shaped bottle now, is what you're saying. No, I, no, I think it's, it's, it's interesting. I like the well, bottle. Well, to me, though. I think they defined it. That's yeah, the thing. they, they defined, defined it. it. Like, and there's not a lot so of wait, on here. Who did it right. first, gentleman Jack? Because I agree with them about the gentleman Jack. You have to look close. I honestly, don't know if, but first. if they. Yeah, know. whether or not they did. I, I mean, know. I just think like with their style, like with placement of the labels, everything. Okay. I mean, it to me, I know it. I know it, it if I see yeah. it from across the bar. Same here. I, I look over and the bar's. Way I mean, I could there. be across the street and pick it out. Damn, so. you got some laser vision, man. Yeah, man, you know. All right, Ben, what did you give it for uniqueness? Uh, I gave it a 1.5. Um, I was I was actually con contemplating a one because it's not very unique, but that's not bad. Yeah. yeah because but I gave it a 1.5 because it's unique. Like this is unqualified. It's so <laughs> drinkable and so smooth. <laughs> like it's a go-to. It's, it's one you'll it's reach for on the shelf. Thing. You know what you're getting. You love it it's every time. Yeah. And yeah. that's yeah. unique. I agree. That, that I would agree. Yeah, with you no, but, but no, you, you skip me, but that's Sorry. fine. Go, 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 it's go. fine. I, I give it a 1.5 because if you look at the other Woodford line, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think those can become like two, double oaked and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, two and 2.5 and, you know, like their experimental stuff, you know. Okay. So that's why I feel like this is down the line, 1.5. That's not a bad thing. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's not a bad thing here. That's why yeah. I am. I don't think these scores are bad. Yeah. I think they're indicative of, of the price point and where this stands but it's it may not be the most unique but it's certainly hey man, drinkable you finished, you finished yours so I did. Yeah. okay final category bonus category for value to me one point no question if somebody asked me what is the best value one of the best value bourbons i will point on the count of three who didn't give it a one one two three Okay, yeah, we can close that. Well, everybody, so everybody <laughs> on sale, absolutely unanimous. On sale, sale this is my go-to recommend. This is one. Yeah, on sale for, for 25 bucks, okay. it's a no-brain. So, so the this question is, is, is this maintenance bourbon? This is a recommended buy, this is a, first of all. Yeah, that's yeah. a recommended but, buy. But I agree, this is a maintenance bourbon. If you want to always have a bourbon in your bourbon shelf, yeah, you should have shelf, that. You should have that. The very definition. Yeah. yeah. You come home, I, I just want to have a bourbon and, and chill out. This is the kind of thing you reach for. Or like, or like, you know, a, 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 an acquaintance comes by and he goes, hey, let's drink some bourbon. And you don't want to... 
Nobody you know, will be. Nobody will say no. Offended. To yeah. yeah. Nobody will be offended. It's not the, like that other one. But nobody biggest, will think you're giving them the cheap. Right. Yeah. Even the biggest exactly. bourbon snob will come over and say, "Oh, you got one for all right. Yeah, that's good." Yeah. Yeah. Nobody will complain about. Yeah. Right that. next to it is a uh, Appy Man Winkle. But hey, let's get the ones. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Nice so let's um, let's total up our scores here on the trusty Bourbon Guild adding machine. Here we go. Come uh, on, old faithful. Come on, old faithful. <laughs> You're aged as long as most bourbons. <laughs> ben. Seven. Seven point oh for Ben. Dylan. Seven. Seven point oh for Dylan. 7.5. Jules had a 7.5, and I had a 7.5 as, as well. And, we all and our grand total, <laughs> average <laughs> score, the official Bourbon Guild Here score, 7.25. All right. That's pretty good. Pretty respectable. I mean, for, for 25 bucks. I should have been able to do that math in my head, by the way. You, 7, you, 7, 7.5 7. and 7.5. I think okay. I would throw it off. <laughs> you could have averaged 7 and 7.5. There you go. All right, guys. So uh, official word from the Bourbon Guild on Woodford Reserve. 7.25 is classified. We classify it as a definitely a best buy. Yeah. And recommended. you got to have it. Recommended buy. you got to have, have it. Must it have. It is the quintessential maintenance bourbon. You'll hear us mention other bourbons as being maintenance bourbons, but this is, this is what we mean when we talk about Yeah, and go to the website. Sometimes they'll allow you to print out a sticker. Or actually, no, they don't print it out. You, you, you put it in and they send you the sticker so that you can actually put your name on your bottle. So you can oh, have your own name. Personal it's ones. a bargain at twice the price. Actually, if Take you got it on sale at 25, yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah well, leave us a comment uh, below. We'd love to know your thoughts on um, what you think of the Woodford. And uh, give us a thumbs up if you guys like what you saw. And be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button so you can uh, keep up, uh, up to date with our latest reviews. All right, guys. And until next time... Tip your bartenders. Do that. But that's what I mean. Like this is so much better than two. Yeah. Yo, oh god. Oh yeah. Without a doubt. Half the price. <laughs>